I was a little boy, there was a lot of love. Love between brothers and sisters, neighbors and friends. There was so much love until I thought that love would never end. But today, as I look around me, I see so much hatred and killing everywhere. Someone that loves you, I'll tell you today, you better love them back. Where did all the love go? Somebody tell me where did it go? Where did all the love go? Justice to Jordan Davis because how he died. A person killed him just because he's to fight for and not let the Michael Jeff get away from this. And we're here for, we're just, for Justin trying to play for Kayla Martin, Jordan Davis, because they're just teenagers. They're dying just because their music and worrying what Katie is done. And now we're trying to fight for our rights. We're trying to fight for our rights for Justin.
Jordan Davis because his music was on loud. If it was somebody of his cousin, he wouldn't say anything. I think that's kind of racist. I'm like, that don't seem fair that you can just shoot a man. Nine times, nine and a half of times, that don't seem right. That's right, bro. That's right. All right. That's right, little bro. There's a baby. Let us know. Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis. That's right, sister. And white, white folks are, 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 really, are really mean. They, they can't kill no teenagers anymore. That's right. Because they, they got to live cool. and, and guys, guys,
and we will make sure that people hear our demands. So we are not violent, we're just loud. And yes, we are upset, we are upset, but we're civilized people. And so we're not going to go shooting at them, but we're going to do it. We're going to use our voices. Stand up and take no place, man. Stand up and take no place. No peace, no peace. 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 No peace, no peace.
was told about this church run, Jackson. Is that true? No. First Baptist. First Baptist. Are, they, are our churches afraid of First Baptist? Is that the reason they're not out here? Yeah, well, I'm calling them out. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. They should be ashamed of themselves. Tell the truth. African Americans died for this freedom, for our freedom. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, the Black Panthers, they died for our freedom. And the churches are holding back the black community. Go ahead, brother. This whole area should be full of people. Go ahead, brother. Black and white. Where are the people? Where are the people? They're in control. You understand what I'm saying to you? This is an economic issue. Bring it on, brother. This is about class. Yeah. This is about the haves and have-nots. Yeah. Yeah. This is about people who think they got it made and they ain't making nothing. Yeah. This is about the middle class that's running scared. This is about a black community who's not protecting its youth. Your youth are at risk. Yeah. Yeah. They are an endangered species. Do you not understand? Anytime a man can roll up next to your, your son or your daughter and pull out a gun and fire a nine and ten shot without even thinking about it. And then go off to a bed and breakfast with a bottle of wine and some pizza. You got a problem. You got a problem. Because that man is telling you he doesn't respect you as a human being. He's not seeing you as a human being. You gotta be in Tallahassee on March 3rd. All right. You gotta and find then, a way. I don't care if you take a bunch of your head out get to Tallahassee on March 3rd. Okay? We gotta build a movement out here. Our children's lives are at stake. You know, let me say something to you. You wanna know why your children don't respect you? You want to know why the children don't respect the elders? Because they're not out here. I'm an elder. I'm 67 years old. My son respects me because he knows I'm willing to take a stand. All right, brother. He knows Preach. I'm willing to protect Tell it, brother. He knows Tell I'm it. Willing to speak out. Tell it. You want your kids to pull up their pants. Don't talk so loud. Don't play your music loud. Why? Because you won't fight racism. All right, brother. You won't fight injustice. Tell it. You won't get out in the street and defend your children. All right, brother. What are we talking about? Talk it. What are we talking about? Bring it about? on. There are people here who fought the civil rights movement right here in Jacksonville. Sit right here. Right here. You know what happened. You know what it took to make change. You know the lives that were on the line here. That's what we're talking about. I'm not going to divide the community. This is not about black and white anymore. This is about economics. This is about the class. This is about all of us coming together. So we got to let the man know that we know that we peeped this whole car. We know what he's about. And we're going to fight. We're going to stand up. We're going to straighten our backs up. And we're going to fight. For what's right. We are going to fight for what is right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Look here, brother. Look at what's your name, brother? Well, brother, where did you get such a message from? I'm going to put this on YouTube. Where did you get such a message from? It's, it's a right now message. Right. Where do you get it from, brother? I'm 67 years old. Uh, my mentors were Malcolm X, uh, people like James Baldwin, Dr. King, okay? And I understood, as they understood, that racism is a part of this, okay? Yes, sir. But the bigger part of this is the economics of this. Yes, sir. System. And is that not the, the next level that Dr. King was going to go exactly. to before they killed him? Was and why do you think the preachers, I've been preaching just like you, but they call me a lot of names. But how can these preachers lead us to heaven if they can't lead us in the struggle, my brother? They can't lead us to heaven. So what are we doing in they the churches? Are we playing heaven. games or just Uncle Tom's soul life? We're, we're playing games, okay? We're, we're doing the same thing we did in the churches before the movement, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Buying our time, making our money, and keeping our heads down. Mm -hmm. And that's not going to work anymore. Mm -hmm.
they have declared war on our people. Yes, sir. The and Koch brothers, yes, the Rockefellers, all these people, they know what's coming. Yes, sir. They know there's going to be a revolution. Yes, sir. It yes, got sir. to be. Yes, sir. Because people are starving. Yes, sir. You know, we got more homeless in this country than a country in the world. Yes, sir. It's ridiculous. Yes, sir. All these people thrown out of their houses because a handful of bankers, okay, had a scheme going to make money. Yes, sir. And the economy fell apart. Not one of them is in jail. Yes, sir. But they pick up our youth out here for two, two rocks of crack. Yes, sir. And they get 50 years. Why, why isn't Jesse Jackson our civil rights leader? Why you don't hear much from them anymore? I don't hear from Jesse Al Jackson. Al Sharpton, I got the greatest respect for him. They're he got, he got about, access to TV. They're singing. all about building and maintaining the black middle class. Mm -hmm. That's what they're about. They're about getting black people in corporate positions in Coca-Cola, Pepsi-Cola, and all these different industries. That's not the struggle anymore, Jesse and Al. That's not the struggle. Okay? The struggle is for rights. The struggle is economics. Okay? My beautiful brother, hold on just a minute. Hold on. included charges. The judge was giving the jury the Allen charge which urges them to come up with the verdict and gives them additional time to deliberate. Less than an hour, the jury and Michael Dunn murder trial began its deliberations. Right now, they do have the verdicts on the other four counts, but that will not be disclosed until they finish and they're trying to reach because they're deadlocked on charge number one, first degree murder. And what do we say to dad? What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Yeah. What do we want? Justice! And what do we want? Yeah. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Yeah. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Yeah. Justice for who? 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 After they announced this verdict, we want our people to disperse without the violence. We want us to go home and we want to organize and strategize. We don't want to call for civil disobedience. Yeah. We want boycotts. Yeah, yeah. We must make the city of Jacksonville understand it yeah. cannot be business as usual. Yeah. So I'm going to do the right thing today. My concern is your safety. 
My concern is to make sure that everybody goes home.